headlines have been absolutely inundated with negative news surrounding Jerusalem today. You've heard us speaking about it as a result of the high tensions that are surrounding the impending Jerusalem Day march through the city. And while today there may be fears of a violent reprisal from Hamas in response to Israel's celebration of Jerusalem Day, Many are also taking this annual celebration as a time to look back and reflect on the growth of the holy city, which is so often mired in controversy. Now, statistics show that despite the tensions, the city's population has grown by more than 13,000 people in the last year. It's now home to almost 1 million residents. And joining us now to tell us about the development of Jerusalem is Shai Doron. He is a president of the Jerusalem Foundation. So Shai, to begin, tell us a little bit about the demographic makeup of Jerusalem today. How does it compare to past years? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the same more or less. We always speak about a million uh, million people that live in Jerusalem, but I, I, I want to, I don't want to to focus about the numbers. I think that the most uh, important thing is about the diversity. The fact that we are speaking about one third of uh, the million are uh, secular Jews, one third are Orthodox Jews, and one third are Muslims or Palestinians. Call it what uh, what. How, how you want to call it. But I think that uh, the, the, the issue is the diversity. And I know that especially in a uh, day like today, I would like to address the issue of diversity in Jerusalem. And so many people see the diversity as the core of the conflict. And I would like to share with you the idea that the diversity of the city is the biggest asset of the city. I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, most of the people that are inspired by Jerusalem are inspired because of the diversity. And, uh, and, and, and don't forget that if we are speaking about Orthodox Jews, that is one third of the, 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 the city, it's not that it's one, uh, uh, one third that are the same. There are so many different communities, there are so many different groups. Mm -hmm. That's what makes Jerusalem so interesting, so lively, lively so, so inspired to everyone. You know, I'm sitting now, Unfortunately, I'm not in Jerusalem today. I'm sitting now in Cannes, in France, with uh, supporters of the city of Jerusalem, supporters of the Jerusalem Foundation. They are from Sweden, and they are non-Jews. They really care about the city. And what inspires them to do something meaningful in the city of Jerusalem, it's, it's diversity. So it's not about the numbers. It's not about the proportion mm -hmm. between the Jews and the Arabs, the seculars and the Orthodox. It's the diversity. I'd like to kind of talk about how Jerusalem's identity has changed in the past couple of years. You know, on one hand, it has become more and more of a tourist destination, but it doesn't necessarily receive the best media coverage because of the ongoing security conflict. And while diversity is obviously a very positive thing, that's not what we're seeing highlighted. Yeah, of course, uh, we, 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 we are facing uh, some changes. I still remember, I'm a Jerusalemite, four generation Jerusalemite. Mm -hmm. I still remember the, the, the city at the 60s. It was like a small village comparing to what we have now. Not only the terms of, uh, of, uh, of the size of the population, it's terms of the feeling of the city. Mm -hmm. It was a divided city until 67, and the feeling was like a, really a village. Everyone knew each other. Now the city is so big. But uh, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm seeing it uh, totally as a big advantage, the big asset of the city. And, 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 and uh, I really believe that uh, the, 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 the population or the diversity is, uh, is it's, it's, it's not by, by, again, about what changes we face, it's about what we can achieve out of uh, such a diversity in, in, in Jerusalem. To go to, to, you know, to celebrate the history that uh, it used to be so nice in Jerusalem, it was like a small village that everyone knew each, each other. It's nice, it's nice for the history, it's nice for the memories, but it's not a, a working plan for, for the future of the right. city. So what is a working plan? I mean, what can we expect in the coming year for Jerusalem? What initiatives are being pushed forward to kind of drive more growth? Yeah, uh, I, I must say that uh, the city, the, the, the mayor and the city has uh, really um, so, uh, such a big uh, different ideas about how to promote the economy of, uh, of, of the city, transportation in the city, and the, the Jews are going to be the first city, really the first city that are going to have uh, the full infrastructure for different public transportation, 
included the light train and it's already the first line is the is operating in Jerusalem for for more than a decade but uh, Jerusalem is going to be a pioneer in a public transportation system and housing and a newer newer facilities for high tech but I would like to address the issue of again what we are doing in uh, the Jerusalem Foundation mm -hmm. with our supporters from all over the world and this is about really right. taking care of communal strengths, creative culture, and future leadership. Those are the fields that are going to really make the big difference in the All future right. of the city of Jerusalem. And All if right. we are speaking about communal strengths, it could be opening or building the first two sports centers in East Jerusalem, for example. Very cool. You know, after well, 50 